I love today because one man who is no stranger to one of Tucson's biggest events, the Gem and Mineral Show, is the meteorite man himself, Jeff Notkin. We love him. But this year, Jeff is bringing something new to the show. He's here to tell us all about it. And Jeff, when we say you're no stranger to the Gem Show, we really mean that because what is this, like your 18th time like exactly coming to it? Exactly yeah. my 18th <laughs> time. I'm very impressed. Yeah. And it's the Gem Show that brought me to Tucson. Mm -hmm. I first visited in the 90s. To, to witness this amazing spectacle. And I fell in love with Tucson in the Southwest, so I moved my whole operation out here. So, in fact, if it were not for the Gem Show, I would not have the pleasure of being on the television Aww. show. Oh, thank you, Gem Show. Thank you, thank you Gem Show, for <laughs> so you. many things. Well, I know we've had you on before, and every time you're, you come on, I, it's like I want to be the meteorite woman <laughs> with you, and I want to go out and I want to dig up things. Um, is that something that we can do? This is in? so easy to arrange. We'll <laughs> yeah. talk about this after the show. And <laughs> See, I was always told on Meteorite Men that some viewers would say, well, you need more women on the show. Well, there so, you go. So there you go. Oh. See? oh, did I just book a job? I, I, I think you <laughs> may have. Like if you don't mind being paid in rocks would be the only <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay, there. Rocks. Yeah, let's talk about this on break. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, for people who are interested in this, is there a way that they can get hands on? There are two ways. Okay. So I want to first tell you about our exhibit at the Gem Show this year. And for residents of Tucson who don't realize this, this is by far the largest gem and mineral show in the world, by far. And it's not just gems and jewelry. Everything that the natural world produces, dinosaurs, diamonds, meteorites, all kinds of extraordinary fossils, it really is a wonderland. So every year we try and do something different. And we love to engage kids. A big part of my work, as you know, is educational science television. So the plan this year was let's invite people into our showroom and have them experience digging up a meteorite. Wow. Sounds crazy. We built a reproduction meteorite crater in oh the gosh. showroom, and it's full of sand, and in the sand are rocks and real meteorites. So we invite people to come along. Parking is free. There's loads of free parking at the Hotel Tucson City Center. The admission to the show is free. And we have a marvelous exhibit, and the meteorite dig is five bucks, and you get to keep any space rocks that you find. I think awesome. that's awesome because so, us in Tucson, we know some things with the gem show are not for the public. You have to kind of be, you know, a wholesaler or something, and some things are for the public. So I'm so glad that what you're doing is something we can all go and enjoy. Thank you. I think it's really important to engage viewers yeah. and uh, uh, visitors, not just to walk around a window shop, but to take a memory home with them. And so that's the first part of my answer to your question. The second is we do guided, authentic meteorite hunts out in the desert. And we have a, a project called Meteorite Hunting Boot Camp. And we take people out the field and we train them to find meteorites. And that is meteoritebootcamp.com for people who are interested. May the 1st in Tucson is the next one. We just had one a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. And everyone on the expedition found meteorites. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Wow. That was fantastic. That says a lot. Well, and actually, Jeff, you've been really busy since the last time you were on our show. Weren't you on a, another you wouldn't, show? You wouldn't like me if I was idle. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would still like you, but I yeah. do like that you always have so many exciting things to talk about. So tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. Last year, I did a 40 country speaking, oh, sorry, 40 date, six country speaking tour, which took me all across the States, Canada, across Europe. And the highlight for me was a TEDx talk in Geneva, Switzerland. And this is a huge honor to be asked because the the body of TED Talks encompasses some of the most interesting knowledge that we humans have. And so specialists are invited to speak for 18 minutes on a topic that's very important to them. And you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a talker. So, so keeping my thing to 18 minutes was a challenge. And my talk was called Meteorites, Life, Death, and Hope on Earth. And the premise is, without meteorites interacting with Earth, we humans would not exist thing, at all. I loved your talk. Cosmic. Thank you. I loved it. I, I watched all the 18 minutes. I wanted to all 18 all minutes. 18, I watched it all the way through. I was laughing. I was educated. You know, when I walked into the studio today, I called you called you a garbage man because that's what you <laughs> what you called yourself in the talk. You said I'm pretty much a, a garbage man. You pick up a space. Space garbage. Stuff. Yeah, space garbage. garbage. Celestial yeah. garbage man, I said. And it, it was <laughs> uh, amazing. I'm so Thank happy you. they asked, asked you. And you do, you know, like you said, it is hard to keep it in that 18 minutes, but I think you did a, an amazing job hitting, you know, what you wanted to get through. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, it's a very kind compliment from a fellow professional whom I admire. Oh. And anyone who's interested can, can see that on the official TEDx YouTube channel. Just do a 
do a search for TEDx plus Jeff Notkin or Jeff Notkin plus Meteorites. And lots of exciting things to learn in that 18 minutes. I um, hope so. But speaking of space garbage, you actually brought a little something today. Yeah. So you brought us some <laughs> space garbage. Here. Well, you know I always try to bring something <laughs> unusual and interesting with me on the show. This is Arizona's newest meteorite. It is called Old Camp Wash, and it was found last year. And it's really the classic meteorite find story. A landowner's out blasting around on his property in the desert on an ATV, and he sees a weird rock, weird color, big, out of place. Oh, what is that? It's heavy. Sticks to a magnet? I'm going to cool air light and see. Uh. And he sent us a little piece, and it certainly was it's the real thing. It's the one in a thousand where somebody finds a strange rock, and it's a real meteorite, brand new to science, found wow. here in Arizona. And we will unveil it tomorrow at the Gem Show. And we also have smaller pieces. When it's cut and polished, it, it, looks, it, looks, it looks much like this. It has an interesting interior. And it's beautiful. And we, yeah. we hope this one will go to a museum. That's what we like. We took the team up and we found some more pieces. So we cut and polished some of them. So for people who are interested in kind of the quintessential Gem Show souvenir, <laughs> a little piece of Arizona by way of space. We'll have that available. Well, this That's is awesome. so cool. I love that we can see it at the Gem Show. And also, I know viewers are just sitting there waiting with their pen and pencil to write down uh, when they can go on a meteorite dig with you. So I'm going to make sure they have all the information. And Jeff, thank you so much for visiting us again. It is always a I pleasure. Come <laughs> back. We love you. <laughs> thank you. And you actually have a chance to go on your very own meteorite dig at the Hotel Tucson City Center, room number 323. It will only cost $5, and you get to keep what you find. For more details, just call 742-3333 or visit aerolite.org.